I've made videos or really just one video about this in the past. I probably mentioned it in other videos. The most recent video that I uploaded was talking about my attempt to replace my OG tones and I still haven't found something yet. And it's more of a, well, I'm not trying to spend a bunch of money on something that I'm just going to be wearing to the gym. I could make that investment and be satisfied with a higher end product and just hope that it works. But just with my luck, I pay all this money, I get it damaged somehow, and now I'm upset. When I purchase things that are relatively inexpensive and they last a long time, then I'm ecstatic. When I purchase inexpensive things and they don't last a long time, I say, well, you get what you pay for. So I, I'm just not trying to spend a bunch of money on something right now, especially when I have things that I could p potentially repurpose. So what you're seeing right now on the screen, again, what I've mentioned in the past before, is the Fayo BTR-3. And all it is, is it's this little guy right here. And it's a wireless Bluetooth transceiver in addition to being a DAC, which I've attempted to use as a DAC before. And I probably don't have the right hardware in terms of headphones and things like that to make full usage out of it. But for connecting this to a device via Bluetooth and then connecting a pair of wired headphones directly to this, it, it serves the job perfectly. I can imagine that there's probably not some type of water resistance rating with these things, so I probably shouldn't be sweating too much with it on, and for the most part I don't. But I do think that it will serve my purposes just fine while I'm at the gym lifting weights. Maybe not so much for cardio. But in case you're curious as to how these little guys work, what you do is you power it on, and you're not going to be able to hear anything, but... I will show that it's flashing right now. Let's see if you can get a better angle right there. Yes, you can see that it's flashing. And then you take a handy dandy pair of wired headphones. <laughs> so this is another pair of skull candies that I've had for quite some time. And you simply just connect it. All right, so you've essentially turned whatever pair of wired headphones that you have into a wireless pair of headphones that you can now keep this on your body while you have, let's say, a smartphone connected and you can put your smartphone wherever. So that's what I do now. I have this on my person while I'm lifting weights and I'm able to keep my cell phone in my bag. What I hate is having to keep a phone in my pocket, especially when wearing gym shorts. The pockets are just so, so shallow that the likelihood of the phone falling out of the pocket is, is pretty high. So I'm happy that I have this and will use this. But you might be asking, well, what do you do when you are doing cardio? Because you just said you don't want to use this while using cardio, which is true. But fortunately, as I've mentioned, this handy dandy Zenfone 9 has a headphone jack. <laughs> so I just put my little my phone on the little uh, elliptical, which is the main cardio device that I use. And I'm able to take yeah, the same pair of headphones and connect it directly into the Zenfone 9. I've complained about it plenty of times before, and I, at some point, maybe will stop complaining, but it's so unfortunate that these companies have done away with the headphone jack. Because I have the Zen phone, yes, I'm able to use the headphone jack. However, the main phone that I use when, when I'm in the gym is a Pixel 2, which Google has never had a headphone jack on any of their Pixels, so I can't complain about them. But it's unfortunate that even with my Galaxy right here, I can't use that directly with a pair of wired headphones because there's no headphone jack. And in the past, I did make a video about all the USB-C to headphone jack dongles that I have. And I do have three of them, but I, I don't want to have to use those at the gym. And I do feel that those are something that I definitely don't want to get around too much moisture. So I, I don't use those. And there are, are plenty of people right now who use the true wireless headphones at the gym. I see a ton of AirPods. And I will never laugh at anybody at the gym unless they're doing something that, that you know, they're trying to be funny or they're just being an ass. But I will laugh at you if you drop your AirPods <laughs> and you attempt to pick them up and you kick them. <laughs> so now you're on the ground, you know, trying to pick up your little AirPods because the core idea of these truly wireless things are just stupid. Is there any real convenience? Maybe some. It really does depend on your use case. But for me, I, I've had I have the Google Pixel Buds. And yes, when I was talking on the phone, I 
pop one in and be able to do what I need. But after a while, I got tired of having to take it out, put it in the case, put the other one in. Then just the overall concern about battery life. Yes, it was nice that they were small and they came in a convenient charging slash carrying case that you could just easily put in your pocket. But I knew that it was just a hassle. And with my wired headphones, I won't misplace them. I don't have to worry about charging them. The audio quality for me and the person that I'm talking to is good. They're extremely inexpensive. <laughs> and the, the list of positives just go on and on. I did laugh when I was using these the other day. I was sitting in my car and I was about to get out. <laughs> well, I was attempting to get out. And you might have guessed it. Yes, as my phone is in my pocket down here, which you can't see, the cord got caught on the little seatbelt holder. So you, you move and yeah, now the cable comes out. The phone's over there. It's a mess. You look around to see if anybody saw what just happened and you just laugh because that is the one big downside with having the, these wires. I do make sure now when I'm getting out, I'll take a look down to make sure that the wire isn't caught on anything. And then I'll go on about my way getting out of, out of the car. But yeah, I just, I can't, I can't get on board with the true wireless stuff at the gym. After owning and currently owning the Pixel Buds, I can't, I don't like using those. So I will continue using this headphone jack when I need to use the headphone jack. And then I will use my BTR3 when I want it to be a wireless connection. And battery life on this is pretty good. So hopefully I'll be able to continue using that for a while. I really was hoping to find a suitable replacement for my LG tones, whether it was another pair of LG tones or maybe some over the ear headphones that were Bluetooth, which, you know, we have an abundance of those. But the unfortunate truth when it comes to earbuds is, yes, you have to is you have to find the first the, the perfect fit. And while these fit fine, I'm satisfied with what they offer, how they sound, how they feel, because I think I paid, I don't know, $10 for these years ago. And when it comes to those LG tones that I will be taking back, I have attempted to put the different ear tips on and the ones that came in the box all fit weird. Even putting the ones that I currently use with other headphones still feel a little weird. Also, which this doesn't happen or hasn't happened, at least to, to, to my memory, when wearing this newer pair of LG tones, uh, it feels like there's some type of pressure issue. Like I, I start getting a slight headache while, while wearing these and I'm like, oh no, I, I, I can't do that. So I take them off, put on some other headphones, listen for a little bit, the headphones gone. I put these back on and I said, oh, this is uncomfortable. So, um, so yeah, that, that's another issue or concern when it comes to these devices. Uh oh, yeah. Oh crap. There's a knot. How did I get a knot in this thing? For all the years that I've owned these little guys, these older LG tones, I have never gotten a knot in the actual cable here. I just picked these up off the ground and there was a knot in them. So <laughs> I'm sitting there trying to get it out. And I'm sure that's a result of this, this wire being so thin that I was, yeah, I, baffled to be honest with you just absolutely baffled so yeah these these will be going back so in in closing i'll continue using my btr3 hopefully it'll last for a while the phone that i have right here has a headphone jack so i can use that if i get bold maybe i will start using a dongle at the gym which i just don't want to because the dongles are not created equal i have an apple one i have a anchor one i have a google one and I can imagine the Google one with the Pixel will probably work the best. But I also, I would need to buy another one. Because, yeah, I have, it's too much. The headphone jack just works. <laughs> and that's what's the, I got, that's the most frustrating thing is the other day before I went to the gym, I was just verifying that the dongles work. And there was just a noticeable difference depending on which dongle you were using with which product. The headphone jack just works. And I refuse to invest in I, I could almost say I refuse to invest in first party headphones because, yeah, that's what they want you to do. Whether it's truly wireless or not, yeah, they want you to spend money on their more expensive product because they took away the thing that was still usable. So I, I am satisfied with using this so far. I'm going to wrap this up because we're, what, uh, 11 minutes in. And yeah, 
These LG tones were great. Sorry that I ran over them with the vacuum cleaner. The new ones, not so much. Oh, I talked too much. I got the beginning of a knot right there. <laughs> so let me go ahead and get that out. And uh, yeah, I think that'll be it. So BTR3s, used them for watching TV before. Looks like I'm going to use them at the gym, use it at the gym right now. Hopefully I don't have any issues with it. I think I paid 20 something bucks, maybe 30 bucks for it months ago. So as of, as of right now, it's, it's definitely serving its purpose.